<laughs> You've touched on uh, the spate of violence that were witnessed in Marsabit and uh, over the weekend in uh, at the coast. And there are members from the party who are raising concerns about the violence witnessed. And we saw today, early in the morning, in an interview with KTA News, one of member of parliament said they are concerned about how the party is being run. And it appears like some are initiating a process or a vote of no confidence against the, Dep uh, the Secretary General. Is it a concern to you as the Deputy Party Leader of UDA? And the second question is, last year, August, or in the run-up to the August elections, uh, the leadership of the party had indicated that much this year they are going to hold grassroots elections. Perhaps what has occasioned the delays and when likely is the elections going to happen? UDA party encourages in internal party democracy. We are very democratic. Everybody is free to say anything. You can say the secretary general, you can say the deputy party leader, you can say the party leader. It's part of our democratic process. We ran away from the belief because of the speech. We will not be allowed to say anything. The party leader was like a boy. The secretary general, you could not even say anything. The vice chairman was uh, was wrong. You know, if you said anything about them, you will be chased away from the party. UDA is a democratic party. And uh, you know, there is a word, it's a major democratic alliance. He knows the word democratic. <laughs> so it is healthy, and we encourage people to criticize the secretary general. I've been here, I've told him a few issues I think you should correct. You know? And uh, it's only that I've not corrected him in public. But even if he is corrected in public, it is in order. Everybody must be accountable. And that brings me to the issue of the press. You also must be accountable. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you shouldn't take offense when we correct you. Because we make you a better person. Nobody knows everything. This is a new Kenya of everybody being accountable. Cleo Malala must be accountable to the party members. If there are certain things he's not doing right, he'll be called out. And he will be held to account. And he must improve. And if he doesn't improve, we'll kick him out. <laughs> <laughs> that is what this party is about. We delayed the elections because, you know, the party leader and I were very busy forming the party. And uh, we have just finished the constituent government now. We settled. Now we can concentrate on the party. We didn't think that it was prudent for us to concentrate so much on party politics when we needed to constitute the government and get the country going. We came against a background of a very serious uh, financial crack. And the president and I were you know, very keen on first getting the country to be back on its feet, which now has been done. Now we have time to concentrate on party matters. And I have told you preparations are underway for grassroots elections. We'll announce a date. You know, we also don't know there is a political temper. This is a very popular part. If I announce a date today, there will be no work going on at <laughs> At the right time, at the right time, maybe two months before, because we don't want also to create a very uh, long period for electioneering, maybe two to three months before the elections, who we'll announce the elections. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.